Hello Capricorn, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Typically when I get this card, it kind of reminds me of the Seven of Wands in Tarot, which does kind of represent somebody who's extremely guarded, somebody who's currently on the fence about something or someone. Um, it could also represent that there's a lot of resistance coming from somebody. But let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, Capricorn, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? So we have the Nine of Cups. We've got the Page of Wands. And then we also have the uh, Nine of Wands. Interesting. Um, with the Page of Wands, okay, well, with the Page of Wands coming out here for you, Page of Wands represents somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. I feel like you're receiving communication here from someone out of the blue. And it's interesting because you don't really know how to honestly feel about this communication here that you're receiving here from this person out of the blue. It's like you don't know if you should be happy to hear from this person or upset to hear from this person. It's like you're a little bit conflicted on how to actually feel um, about this unexpected communication here that you're receiving here from this individual. Whoever this person is that you're receiving communication from, though, it is someone who has hurt you. It is someone who, yeah, it is someone who has hurt you in the past. So, I mean, could this be an ex that's resurfacing back up here for you? Yeah, I mean, that's a possibility. But again, you're receiving communication here from someone out of the blue. And it's interesting because you don't know how to feel about it. You don't know if you should be happy to hear from them or upset to hear from them. Let's look at this person. How does this person currently view this relationship? How does this person currently view this relationship with Capricorn? Mm. Interesting. This person that you're receiving communication from, like I said, I do feel like it is someone who has hurt you in the past. It is someone who has hurt you in the past. But how do I say this? Yes, they're extending themselves to you out of the blue, but they're under this impression that you may not even want anything to do with them. You may not even want anything to do with them. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the way that this relationship came to an end here between you and them. Maybe things ended pretty badly here between you and them. And that's what's leading them to think, believe, and feel like you may not even want anything to do with them. Basically, it's kind of what I'm gathering here. Tell me more about the page. You guys might be around the same age. Tell me more about the page of swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Five of Pentacles, and then we also have the Emperor. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Knight of Wands, we also have the Two of Cups, and then we also have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you guys, I just kind of feel like things ended really badly here between you and them. Things ended pretty badly here between you and them, and that's what's leading them to think that you may not even want anything to do with them. But in their mind, it's like there's only one way to find out, you know what I mean? Hence why they're deciding to uh, extend themselves to you. Yeah, hence why they're deciding to extend themselves to you. Because there is a possibility that, you know, you might be down to have a conversation with them. You know what I mean? There is a possibility that, yeah, that might be the case. Or, you know, it might turn out that you don't really want to talk to them. And you really don't want anything to do with them. You know what I mean? But in their mind, they kind of know there's only one way to find out. But... Right now, from the looks of it, they kind of feel like you probably don't want to hear from them. You probably don't um, want anything to do with them. But like I said, in their mind, they feel like there's only one way to find out. So it kind of looks like they're going to choose to extend themselves to you either which way. And whatever happens, happens. You guys are showing up as a true pair to one another. We do have the Empress as well as the Emperor. For some of you, you could have had a child and or children with this person. That's definitely a possibility here. But... With the uh, Nine of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles uh, to the Emperor coming out here, it just kind of looks like this person has been feeling um, 
what's what's the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here? Um, it kind of looks like since this relationship came to an end here between you and them, they've just been kind of feeling, I would say incomplete. I would say incomplete um, without you being in their life. Yeah, it's an energy of them essentially feeling incomplete, like feeling like something's missing, you know what I mean? Um, and that could have a lot to do with the fact that they haven't fully adjusted, you know, to life without you in it. That's definitely a possibility, especially because it kind of looks like maybe at some point you guys lived with one another. Point is, is that I feel like this person has been trying to adjust to life without you in it, but it's been hard. You know what I mean? It, it, it's been hard uh, for this person. It has definitely been hard. Now, here's what I will say. One of the main reasons why this person is, you know, extending themselves to you is because they want to get back with you. Just throwing that out there, you know what I mean? That's one of the main reasons why this person is, is deciding to resurface back up here for you, Capricorn, is because they do want to get back with you. They do. They want to get back with you. But right now, I kind of feel like they're just in this energy of hoping for the best but expecting the worst, right? The worst being you don't want anything to do with them. The worst being you're completely done with them. You know, they're just kind of preparing themselves um, for the worst potential outcome to happen here between you and them. Um, how does Capricorn feel? Okay, we have the Empress, we have the Seven of Cups, and then we also have the um, Ten of Cups. Before I open my mouth, tell me more about the uh, Seven of Cups. Okay, like I said, Capricorn, when you do receive communication here um, from this person, it's going to have you a little bit conflicted on how you should even be feel right about you know receiving communication here from this person and it has a lot to do with the fact that you know this person they put you through a whole lot you know they really did put you through a whole lot but if it's one thing that I will say is this despite the fact that yes this person has put you through a whole lot it does appear to me that this is somebody that you still have a lot of love for regardless of all the stuff that they basically put you through in the past um I also kind of see you in this overall energy of trying to kind of figure out if this is something that you should be giving into all over again or not. I mean, your whole thing is, is that, yeah, you still have a lot of love for this person, but you haven't fully forgotten about the stuff that this person has put you through either. And the last thing you want to do is to sign yourself up all over again to suffer um, and, and to experience another heartache and to experience another disappointment and another betrayal, things of that nature. So it kind of looks like, before you decide to engage with this person all over again, you're going to find yourself thinking long and hard about whether or not this is something even worth revisiting or even entertaining right now. Because your whole thing is, is that you just don't want to experience another heartache. You just don't want to get disappointed all over again. You just don't want to get deceived all over again by this person. So before you even decide to engage in conversation here with this person, I do kind of see you taking a little bit of a step back and thinking long and hard about whether or not this is something that you actually want to do. Do you honestly want to open that door back up or not? But ultimately, the decision is entirely up to you in regards to what you decide to do moving forward. But it kind of looks like you're leaning more towards possibly giving this relationship another go around, but you're still unsure if you should. How does this person currently feel? So we have the Empress, we also have the Six of Swords, and then we also have the Knight of Pentacles. This person has a very, very difficult time leaving you alone. It's like one thing that I am kind of getting primarily off of this person's energy. They have a very difficult time leaving you alone. They have a very difficult time staying away. Very difficult time. Very freaking difficult time. You know, since this relationship came to an end here between you and this person, I feel like they honestly tried their hardest to not call you, to not text you, to not email you. But we kind of see them obviously caving in, obviously. But it is kind of stemming from a place of somebody having a very difficult time just staying away from you. It's like they just don't... they they. they they just don't want to stay away from you. They just don't know how to stay away from you. They just don't know how to stop wanting you. Is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. 
you know, in this person's eyes, you might as well be the, the drug and, and they're basically the addict. It's like the best way that I can describe like what I'm seeing here. It's like they're addicted to you. Like I said, it's like you're the drug and they're the addict, basically. All right, how does, I mean, I'm sorry, what actions will this person take towards Capricorn or moving forward? We have the three of, oh, okay. We have the three of swords. We got the nine of pentacles. And then we also have the four of swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have the hermit. Oh, this is kind of sad. Uh, with the nine of wands. And then we also have the um, death card. I gotta be honest. This is like an overall energy. And we haven't even looked into you yet. But this is like an overall energy of somebody... This is like an overall energy, you guys, of somebody forcing themselves to accept the fact that it's officially over. It's officially over between you and them. Yeah, that's kind of what this feels like. And again, we haven't even looked into you yet to see what you decide to do moving forward. But yeah, this is like an overall energy of somebody trying their hardest to accept the fact that it's officially over between you and them. And it's time. It's time for them to move on uh, with their life. And that in itself, um, it is a hard pill for this person to swallow. It is. It's a hard pill for this person to swallow. It is. It is. Um, well, I guess let's see what you plan on doing moving forward. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? Man, this is this right here is a tough pill to swallow. It really is. It's like this person is like walking around with like a like a freaking hole in their heart. It's like the best way that I can describe what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. And y'all, you guys know how I am. Like, if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know I hate seeing people suffer. Like that is like one of my weaknesses. I absolutely hate it. And I kind of feel like this person's suffering. So let's just let's just get through this, you know? Uh, what actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? Wow. Yeah. That's a blow to the chest right there. I feel it. Yeah, this this, this this is this this right here is a blow to the chest for this one over here. It's like the moment I saw these three cards come out here for you, I, I instantly kind of like jumped back, like, geez, okay. Um it kind of looks like your mind is essentially made up here. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. If it comes off that way, I apologize. It's just, I don't like seeing people suffer. That's just my thing. I don't know why God made me this way, but it's okay. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We're going to, we're going to get through this reading, right? But, um, it kind of looks like you're deciding to not revisit this connection here. You know, this is like the true epitome of you realizing, you know what? I can't keep gambling with my heart anymore. So therefore, I'm out, right? Um, so yeah, it looks like in the end, you're not going to be revisiting this connection here between you um, and this person from your past. It kind of looks like you're deciding to walk away for good. Okay, this is a blow, man, to the chest. This is a this is a real blow to the chest here for this person. Again, not, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but this hurts. This, this, this hurts. This this hurts. This hurts, man. It hurts. It really does hurt. It really does. I, I'm not, I don't even want to look into this person. A little, I don't even. I was gonna look into them a little bit more, but I don't even want to do all of that. Um, I just, you know, I just kind of feel like you're not trying to gamble with your heart anymore with this person. You know, this is you realizing. You know what? I can't keep doing this with this person. Like, yeah, you might have love for them still, but. I just kind of feel like this is one of those situations where you're kind of realizing that you need to kind of stop gambling, you know, with your heart when it comes down to this person and do what you feel as though it's best for you. And a lot of you feel like, you know, walking away from this relationship is ultimately, you know, the best thing for you to do in this entire situation. Like I said, I mean, this is somebody that you still have a lot of love for. This is somebody that you care for deeply. But at the end of the day, this is one of those situations where you got to look out for yourself, you know, and a lot of you feel like if you were to revisit this connection all over again, you know, you're just going to find yourself going through it all over again. And that's not something that you want to do. That's just not something that you want to do. You're not, you're, you're not deciding to gamble with your heart anymore. Damn. 
I don't even want to look at this person. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else can you tell me for Capricorn? All right, so we have the Three of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, and then we also have the Four of Cups. You know, because you have so much love for this, this person, Capricorn, walking away from this relationship is not going to be an easy thing for you to do, but in your mind, you kind of feel like you have to. And it's because you don't want to continue to suffer anymore. You don't. You know, I feel like this person has disappointed you time and time and time and time again to the point where you're just like, I can't keep doing this to myself. I can't. So I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Um, I am definitely proud of you because this is you kind of realizing that you have to really look out for yourself. You have to really look out for yourself. You have to really protect yourself. Um, and listen, even though it's going to be a very challenging and difficult thing for you to do as far as walking away from this relationship is concerned, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you, right? Um, unfortunately, it just kind of looks like this one over here kind of made their bed and they're going to have to kind of lay in it for real, for real this time. Basically, is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. But this is not going to be an easy thing for you to do. It's not, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. We have the Ace of Wands, we got the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the um, Two of Cups. Capricorn, moving forward. Okay, um, I do see you meeting someone new, okay? But it's really important, Capricorn, that you take the time to fully heal from this experience that you went through here with this person. So that way it's not affecting you um, in the next relationship that you get yourself involved in, okay? Time about the two of cups. Oh, honey, yes, Jesus. Okay, wait a second. All right, this, this new person that you're going to end up meeting... It is somebody who's very career oriented. It is somebody who's really good at managing money. I'm also kind of getting that as well. But this person comes off to me as somebody who's very career oriented. Somebody who, um, again, very good at managing money. This is somebody who's very big on, you know, their growth and their expansion. They're also very, very intelligent. Also very well spoken. King of Pentacles is also somebody who's very big on commitment, but also very big on loyalty. Keep in mind... You actually showed up as a queen of pentacles. So it is a true pair situation here between you and this new person. But I do kind of feel like you're going to eventually end up meeting someone new, Capricorn. And like I said, it's really important that before you meet this person, you take, you take time to heal from this experience that you went through here with this person. So it's not affecting you moving forward, okay? But yeah, I do see you meeting someone new very, very soon, shortly after all of this. And it is somebody who's very intelligent, somebody who's very career-oriented, somebody who's very thoughtful and kind. They don't come off to me as somebody who is selfish in any way, shape, or form. They do not come off to me as somebody who is extremely selfish. This is that type of person um, that is going to be extremely different from what you're accustomed to dealing with, but in a really, really good way. Um, this relationship, though, it has a great deal of potential. I always say this. It really does kind of all depend on the both of you, but it has a great deal of potential. It could lead to something long-term here, but it really does all depend on the both of you. But again, very important that you fully heal from this past experience so that way it's not affecting you in this uh, relationship that you're going to eventually find yourself um, in. As far as this past person is concerned... I just, as far as this past person is concerned, I, I, I just, I, I feel like this is going to be the only blow to the chest here for them. It is. Um, it's going to take this person a while. It's going to take this person a while before they decide to put themselves out there all over again and give love another go around. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the relationship that they once upon a time had with you. Um, it just kind of looks like this person's just going to have to um accept the fact that it's over for real for real between you and them um and just kind of you know take the necessary you know steps towards fully healing from you know this entire experience that they went through with you and then you know when they feel like they're ready to put themselves out there and love again then they'll eventually do it i just 
I just, I just kind of feel like it's going to take them some time to recover from this. That's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. It's going to take them some time to recover from this. It's not going to be one of those situations where this person is just going to jump to the next and run off into the sunset with the next one. No, like this is going to take some time for this person to recover. It's going to take some time for this person to recover from, you know, their uh, relationship with you. But eventually, you know, I have faith that they will. All right. So. That's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.